excellent pot, an excellent result. Six. Well, Alison, this could be frame and match winning opportunity. But after what's gone before, nobody would be taking anything for granted. Thirty. Forty. Doesn't need the awkward pink. So this is a chance. Little mm -hmm. wince there. Mark looking at Neil there, a player when he's sat in his seat, and Mark's one of them, he likes to look at the body language of his opponent to see whether he's happy or not. He didn't want to be playing for this red along the top cushion, I promise you. But the position he had on the black, he had to. 21. Now this is key to frame and match. And in without touching a side. You feel that that could be the shot. And when you're world number one, this gives you so much pleasure to win these massive tournaments and prove why you 29. are the best player in the world. This black and the yellow. In it goes. He's on the yellow. The yellow to go 28 points in front. 37. With only 25 remaining. Right in the heart of the pocket. Well, this has been a remarkable final. Matt Selby looked to be running away with it at one stage. We just felt, though, that Neil Robertson, the way he played all week, had a little bit left. Was he ever going to produce it? He's produced it this evening. A few shaky moments. A black ball game in the last frame that could have gone either way. But now... It's like a lap of honour. 51. In it goes. He turns round. Mark Selby. They're great pals, the two of them. On the table, he's very competitive. But he's done it. The Triple Crown. Neil Robertson. WilliamHill.com UK champion. Former Masters champion. Former world champion. You've done it. Many, many congratulations. I feel a bit sorry for Mark Selby. He didn't play his best all week for me, but he got to the final, he made a fight of it. Neil's mother, Alison, rushing down, wants to give him a hug. And why not? Great performance. Neil Robertson, world number one, UK champion. He wins by 10 frames to seven. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our two brilliant finalists tonight. First of all, a marvellous, gallant defending champion. It's gone, Mark, but I mean this in, as a compliment to you. Um, he's done a Mark Selby on you today, in effect, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, I played sort of OK first session. Uh, I, I scrapped it out, and then tonight I was very poor, and to be fair, I didn't deserve to win. I had more than my fair, fair share of chances, and uh, obviously didn't take them, and Neil did. You were within a black ball of making it eight all, and we all wondered, should you have had that black clean? Did it put you off your fluency? Did it put you off your rhythm at that point? Not really. It was a tricky one, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, if I pot the black eight all, I mean, to be fair, I probably don't deserve to be eight all the way the match went for the second session. I thought Neil was definitely the better player second session. 
But at the end of the day, some of the performances I've played this week has been quite poor, really. So to even get to the finals is a massive achievement. Well, you've got a lovely Christmas bonus coming. Obviously, there's the, the small matter of £70,000 tonight and, of course, 59000 for what was a fantastic maximum yesterday, Mark. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Our champion, ladies and gentlemen, Neil Robertson. And Neil, well, he nicked your master's crown. You've kind of got him back today. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Mark uh, in the first session was too good for me today. I mean, I had some chances, but, um, you know, I thought he played really solid. And, you know, tonight I came out and, uh, you know, 6-3 down. And um, I just had to play my best snooker to, to get back into the match. And, uh, you know, when I beat John Higgins earlier this year in the Wushu Classic final, um, I said that that was the best I've ever performed in a final. But the second session here tonight is, is definitely the, the best I've ever played in a final. So, uh, you know... <laughs> Yeah, you won seven out of eight frames, three centuries in five. How did you turn it around? What did you summon at that point, Neil? Uh, well, a former world champion sent a, sent a text message um, at the interval, and uh, I'm not going to tell you who it was, but um, it, it did kind of help a bit. And, um, you know, if, if, if you try and sort of, uh, you know, take Mark on with, with the safety, I mean, he's, he's the best safety player in the world, so... I had to just go for my shots and, and try and speed the play up a bit and sort of up the tempo, and uh, I did that, and I thought, you know, it brought the best snooker out of, uh, out of myself for that session. And, um, I mean, towards the end there, you know, 8-6, eight, 8-7, uh, eight, eight, and then, um, you know, the, the, the black, I, oh, I, I, you know, he got the white and black cleaned. I've done that before um, in a program in Australia, and I lost to Joe Minichi 4-3 on the black, so I got both cleaned, and I missed a similar black. So, um, yeah, I mean... I don't know if it, if it pulled in or what, but I mean, I was, I was as shocked as anyone to, to see it sort of still hang over the hole because he, he played it dead way. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't even want to get the, the long stuff out. I just had to play it right-handed quickly and, and quickly go to the toilet. So, um, and then, you know, the last frame there, I just, um, you know, just that chance there, really, really proud with, with the way I handled myself to, to clear up to win there. You know, when you go 9-7 in front, do you ever really feel comfortable and safe against a man like this? Well, I mean, he, he's come back so many times. I mean, um, you know, he's done it to Ronnie O'Sullivan in, in the Masters final. I think he was 9-6 down against Ronnie. And, you know, he's, he's, he's one of the worst players in the world to, to be, you know, to have a good lead in front of. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Mark's, uh, he's a brilliant player. I mean, we're playing, each, we're starting to play each other a lot now because, um, you know, getting in later stages as well. So, I mean, this, hopefully this definitely won't be our last UK Championship final. And finally, Neil, I know you're a keen student of the game here, but you've joined a very exclusive club as a winner of the Triple Crown in your career. Just tell us how significant that is to have done it and to become the first overseas player in history to have done it. Yeah, I think that um, I missed actually Alex Higgins and Terry Griffiths when I did the interview <laughs> after my game yesterday. And uh, sorry, guys, but... Um, well, sorry, Terry, sorry, yeah, Alex. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, to become, you know... The first overseas player to win all three, um, you know, when you know, I came over and Ding Junhui and I sort of basically turned pro at the same time 10 years ago and, uh, you know, to, to get ahead of him is, is a fantastic achievement. Um, yeah, I'm sure he'll achieve it one day as well, but, you know, to be the first is, is, is a really fantastic feeling. Well, you joined a fantastic club tonight. I know your mum's flown in from Australia. You've got to keep her here for the Masters, haven't you? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> she comes to the World Final in the day and she's been here all week. So, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's going to have a good Christmas. Well played. You're going to have a good Christmas. Congratulations, our champion, Neil Robertson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your presentation party, Jason Ferguson, chairman of the WPBSA, and Nicola Frampton from William Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up, receiving the medal, the cheque for £70,000 and the bonus 59 for that wonderful maximum. Put your hands together for Mark Selby. And the winner, the history maker, the record breaker, 
receiving the check for £150,000, the trophy and the title, 2013 WilliamHill.com UK champion, Neil Robertson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Neil Robertson. Yep, there he is, the history man, Neil Robertson. And what a performance, what a transformation in his game in that match. He talked about a little bit of uh, impetus from a former world champion, yet to be revealed who that is. <laughs> but clearly it gave him a bit of spark. Kenny? Yes, it gave him a bit of spark. And he, as, as he said, he, he sort of went for his shots a bit more, upped his tempo. Uh, and how crucial those two frames were, you know, before the... The, the first eight, and of course that last, that black, I mean, how crucial that, it could have been all different had that black gone in for Mark Selby and gone eight all. When we think about the consistency that Neil Robertson's shown over the last couple of seasons, this is his second major title of the season, his third of the year, clearly. Is he the man who is exemplifying professionalism and consistency in your sport right now? Uh, absolutely, he is, and, and if I was another professional player, he would be the benchmark for me. I would be looking at every event, seeing where his name is, to try and avoid him for as late as possible. Because he turns up, he's turned up the first day, looked totally professional. He knew what the prize money was from first day. Hazel, that's always an indication how, how serious they are. But he's, he's dedicated and he's such a good competitor. To turn that round from 6 3 today was fantastic. And I always felt he was hitting the ball a little bit better than Mark Selby. And it's to Selby's credit that he hung in there for so long. Yes, indeed. Great character shown by Neil and great character throughout this whole championship from. <laughs> Marks.